AG12. Welcome back to Minnesota. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool mismatch here, and basically what this is, is a feet massager. If you can see, this is what the packaging looks like when you guys first get it. So the one that we got right here is from this brand, and they probably got a bunch of specs and features that's on here. So they mentioned how there's two different speed levels, two different modes, two different heat levels, and six intensity levels that's on here. It has a 20 minute auto shut off, and the cover that's inside is removable, so that way you can wash it if you guys need to. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, so you guys first open up. This actually looks like inside. So everything is all nicely wrapped up. So let's take it out first. So inside they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And they also probably got a small little box. And inside the box, we have the charging cable that's gonna plug in to activate it. And right there, you can see we do have the actual lake massager. So let's take off all the wrappers first. So once you guys take it out, you can see there's another layer of wrapper. So let's take that off as well. So once you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like. If you see in the bottom, we do have the brand logo. And top right here, we have all the different buttons. So we have a power button, a mode button, a heat button, air pressure button, and a kneeling option right here. For kneeling, there's a slow and fast. For the air pressure, there's low, medium, and high. For the heat option, there's low and high. And in mode, there's A and B. And then see right here, we do have two different slots for you to put in your feet. One for left and one for right. And the bottom, we do have a deflate button. So when you guys press on that button, it'll deflate all the air that's inside when you guys are using the air compression on here, which is really cool. But like I mentioned for the cover right here, it is removable. So you guys wanna take it out and wash it, you can definitely do that on here. If you guys flip it around to the back, they do have like a non slip material in the bottom. So that way when you guys put it on the ground, it won't move around. And when you guys look at the side right here, we do have the slot for you to plug in the cable to activate it. And the way how they designed the actual product is actually pretty cool. You guys can just hold right here real easy. So I got my cable right here. Let's plug it in to test it out to see how it works. So I don't plug it on the side. Once you guys have it plugged in, you have to start using it. And you see the cable is not long enough from where I want to plug it. So I do have my power strip onto the wall. But all you have to do is just stick your feet inside and press the button to start using it. So just like this. So if you guys press the power button, that will turn it on. So we have everything on the low setting and we have it on mode A. So when we use it on the lowest setting right now, it definitely feels pretty nice especially with the kneeling option in the bottom. I don't feel any heat just yet, so it may take a few seconds, a few minutes for it to kind of like heat up by itself. But so far from using the lowest setting on here, it does feel pretty nice. I feel like I need to increase it to the mid or high level before I can feel anything that's like more intense on here. And like I mentioned earlier right here, they actually give you guys a slow or fast option for the kneeling option. If you guys want a fast option, you can change it to fast. For me, I do prefer using a slow option because that way I actually like slowly give you guys that really good effect of the kneeling effect. So, so far I can kind of feel a little bit of the heat, but I'm actually increasing the heat on here. Alright, so now it's on high. And let me actually increase the air pressure on here as well to mid. Alright, so now I have it on middle. And notice when I change it to middle, it actually blinked twice on low. So I guess that's what they meant in terms of the six different levels. So there's two on low, two on medium, and two on high. So I press the middle again. Now we have a middle level 2 instead of level 1. And when we use a middle level 2, it's actually really, really strong. I feel like that very nice air compression on here that's squeezing my leg really tightly. And I definitely feel a lot of that heat on here now. I feel like for me, I don't need to increase it any more than middle because it's already really tight. But if you guys want an even more tighter squeeze or something, you guys can increase it to high. I might even bring it back down to one level. Let's measure that first. Alright, so I brought it back down to level 1 for middle because it was too powerful. But I'm going to turn on the speed to fast just to kind of test it out to see how it feels. Yeah, let me turn back to slow. So when you use it on fast, a little bit too fast for me. It doesn't feel like comfortable at all. It's like too fast of the spec and it's actually more painful, especially if you guys turn in a higher intensity level. But definitely right now, you guys can start to feel a lot of that heat inside. So that we get that blood circulation as well. Now I'm gonna change them both to B to see how that feels. Alright, so now we're using both B. So when we use it on both B, it doesn't feel as comfortable or as good. It's kind of like slowly squeezes your leg and then it starts like rolling it afterward once it gets to a certain point. Whereas mode 8 actually keeps kneeling and also gives you guys the air compression, which is much better in my opinion. So for me, I do prefer using mode A a lot more than mode B because it feels a lot better because you guys get both at the same time instead of waiting one for another. So when you guys are done using it, you guys want to press the power button to turn it off. And you probably want to press the deflate button if you guys want a fast deflation from the air compression. So guys press the power button. 
that will turn off. And if I want to press the deflate button, you guys can definitely do that on here. But because they're deflate, I don't need to do anything for that part. So that is everything that's on the power here in terms of how to use it. And you can see it definitely does work. So now to come boxing and test the bottom, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually working or not. So for this foot massager, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality foot massager that has all the different specs and benefits that's on here. And also if you guys have the design of the product like this one right here, that's super easy for you guys to carry around in different rooms. That I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't even want or haven't wanted these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.